In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use basic masking with your texture images to make sure that you are not covering up too much of your subject with too much texture. I'll go ahead and get started here. I have this image of a newborn. I'm going to go ahead and go to File, Place to add a texture file. I'll go ahead and add Cafe. And place it in here and resize it a little bit. And click that check at the top. Okay, so I have my JPEG texture added. Now I'm just going to play around with my blending modes and see which one I like. And I think it's going to be either overlay or soft light. And I think I'm going to go with overlay. Okay, so I have this texture. It's, it's applied to the entire image. But I actually don't want to have all of the baby uh, completely texturized. I want there to be just a little bit but not, I don't want to cover them up completely. And to do this, I'm going to use layer masking. And now, by the way, this is going to work in both Photoshop and Photoshop Elements. I happen to be using CS6 right now, but it's pretty standard across almost all versions of Photoshop. So to add a layer mask, I'm just going to go over here into the Layers panel at the very bottom, click on the Add New Layer Mask icon, and I'm going to get a white mask. Now, the way that layer masking works is white reveals and black conceals. So every time you add a layer mask, a standard layer mask, it's going to show white. And that means that you can see everything on this layer. So this entire texture is showing because the mask is white. Now I hide parts of the image by painting with black or shades of gray. So I'm going to go ahead and go over to my brush tool. I'm going to make sure that black is my foreground color. And then I'm going to look at the top here and see what I have going on. The opacity is really the biggest one that you want to make sure. You want to make sure that you're painting in the normal mode. Sometimes this can get changed around by accident. But the opacity is really kind of the biggest deal. Now when I'm masking, especially with textures, I want to make sure that I'm not masking at 100% because that's usually going to be too harsh of a transition. I might eventually get there by painting over and over at different opacities, but I usually want to start with something low. And actually, I want to drop it down to around 20%. You also want to look at your brush size. You can change your brush size in a few different ways. You can right click and you can adjust the settings from here. You can select a different brush if you like. I usually just use my right and left bracket keys. The left bracket key will decrease the size and the right bracket key will increase the size. Also, you want to check that hardness and you want to make sure it's at 0%. That way you have a nice soft transition between your brush strokes and the actual image. Okay, so I'm all set. I'm going to reduce the size a little bit and I'm going to be painting with black at 20%. Now you're not really going to see a lot of change, but if you look over here in the mask on the layers panel, you'll see that where I just painted, there's a little bit of gray. And as I continue to paint, I'm going to really make sure this face is not too texturized, then it just changes and changes. So let me go ahead and show you the before. So that's without that mask added. I just hold, held the shift key and clicked on the mask, by the way, to hide that and after. So now I have a nice soft transition from my textured image over to the actual subject. If you're using one of the newer versions of Photoshop, then I'm going to show you another quick tip that you can use to further edit the mask in your image. So once you have a mask created, you want to make sure that the mask is active. And then make sure that the Properties panel is showing. Go to Windows Properties if you don't see it. And the two settings I'm going to discuss are Density and Feather. Think of Density kind of as the opacity of the black areas of your mask. So right now, this is the darkest it's going to be. If I were to move the density all the way to zero, then that mask basically just disappears. Back up to 100 and it's back there. So let's say I wanted to just kind of introduce a little bit more of the texture into the areas that I painted. I would just slowly bring that slider to the left and now I have a little tiny bit of that texture added. Now it doesn't matter how dark I paint on this mask, 81% is pretty much the highest opacity or density that it will show. Also, if I wanted to further soften the transition between the masked areas and the texture areas, I can play around with this feather setting. Again, I'll kind of move this all the way to the right just to show you the extreme. And it, it feathered the entire edges. So I'll bring it back down. And really what it's just doing is it's softening the edges of my mask. I'm just going to quickly toggle so you can see that mask. Feather at zero. 
And then as I bring it up, you can see that it's really kind of spreading out. I don't want it to go too high, so I'll go ahead and keep it there. So that's for Photoshop users if you want to just kind of play around with the mask once you've created it.